I'm going to take you through a creative color grading pack we've named Sterling. It contains 3D LUT profiles based on the look of international high society magazines. The intention of this profile is to leverage really rich colors in every area of the image. In the dark areas, I want to see a variety of hues, but then I want them to be really lush and really just rich and have a lot of body. Skin tones need to remain warm, and I want an overall sort of snap to the image that creates a nice crisp, opulent look. So once again, these profiles live equally in both Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'm going to be using the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. So right off, this is coming in pretty well balanced, and I'm ready to just start applying looks and see what we've got. Now, my browser, my profile browser here, might look a little bit different from yours. I've got Adobe Color up here, so I can quickly go back and forth between Original and the Looks in Sterling. Starting at the top, I'm just going to run through quickly using my arrow keys. Right off, I'm seeing a nice bump in contrast from the original Rodeo, nice blues in the feathers. Windsor's doing a green wash across, but still maintaining the skin tones. Hollywood's sort of taking Rodeo and amping that up a bit. Wow, Mulholland is, is one of my favorites. It's so painterly, nice warm tones, nice jade in the background. Del Mar, subduing everything a bit, a little bit cooler, still maintaining skin tones. Turnbull really amps up the yellow in the skin. Riverside, even more subdued. More, more of a light touch with the contrast, pulling that back a bit. Sunset Boulevard, a nice more vintage look. It's, it's, it's sort of brown overall. San Vicente is taking that brown and pushing some purple into the shadows. That's really cool. And Melrose really amps up the contrast overall and really pushes the green. Nice warmth in the skin and hair. Separation in the feathers. Those are still remaining neutral, slightly cool. So. My favorite out of all these is Mulholland. I just think it's such a nice look, but I think I can dial it back just a bit, and it's so easy to do, because I wanna take that green out of the skin tones just a bit, and by dialing it back, I keep the look, I brought back some of the skin tones, and you can see before and after what a great color story that's created in this image. So I'm ready to open this, move into Photoshop, I could be happy with this as is, but now I'm in Photoshop and I can continue to do more edits on it. Let's take a look at a new image, a very different one, and see how these looks work. Immediately, I know I want to up the exposure to balance this beautiful shot just a bit more. I'm just going to open up the shadows a touch, the blacks a touch. Bring the highlights down just a bit. That balancing move should only take me like a minute every time when I'm going through 3D LUT profiles. So I've got my favorite Adobe Color, my base image up here so I can always go back. And it's so easy for me to just cruise through these looks using the browser here that I'm just going to go pretty fast and find something that I like. Mulholland is also doing some cool stuff here. There's a wide variety of color stories going on here, but Hollywood's the one I'm going to choose. It made me think of like an old time Hollywood look. That blue actually pushed the pants towards looking like they were more of a local color blue, which I think is kind of cool, but it's still a little bit over the top for my taste. And I'm going to dial it back just a bit on the amount. That'll help bring back some of the skin tones, but it maintains that blue where it's doing most of its work in the darker tones, and tones that already have a hue identity that's cool. So one thing that's important to note with Sterling is we've intentionally made these looks to be quite strong, so you can see what's going on in your browser. That's intentional. So we know that in the vernacular of international high society magazine photography, these looks need to be a little bit conservative sometimes, so you can always dial that back to your taste using the amount slider. Now that I've dialed it back a bit, I'm really liking the results of Hollywood. I can continue into Photoshop and do some more editing if I want to, but I'm ready to call it good with this right now. 
I hope you like all these different looks we've got in Sterling. That's using the Adobe Camera Raw workflow, and I can't wait to see what you do with it. <laughs>